Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be my 20 weeks pregnant pregnancy update and I'm going to let you know how baby boy is doing in terms of his health and my syndrome and how I've been this week as well. So if you want to find out more then keep watching. So I have already tried to make this video once and I found it really really hard to make which is surprising <laughs> but I just... I don't really know what to say, I don't really know where to start. I never ever imagined to be making this video and being able to tell you the news that I'm about to tell you because I always expected a different outcome. Um, but as you might know, if you have been, you know, around for a while, I have um, something called Stickler Syndrome. And that is a syndrome that, while I don't feel particularly affected now as an adult, can give you a pretty tough start in life. Um, I have two children already, a little boy who doesn't have it and a little girl who does. And it's autosomal dominant, which means that there is a 50% chance of it being passed on to any of my children, regardless of their gender. And um, the minute that I found out that I was pregnant with this surprise baby boy, <laughs> I have worried about it. And I found out I was pregnant just under, uh, well, I just under four weeks pregnant. So it's been a long time, uh, about 16 weeks of fretting and worrying. And we had our specialist scan yesterday it wasn't at our local hospital it was actually at st mary's hospital in manchester because it required a specialist team of sonographers to check over our baby and we had to wait until about 3 30 in the afternoon which normally doesn't seem like it's that late but after weeks of worrying i just felt like it couldn't have been further away yesterday and um, i spent a lot of the day in my pajamas crying on and off and i was very emotional I refused to get ready until literally last minute really and um, my mum had the kids and mark and i headed over to manchester and um, we were seen really really quickly we did get there early which is normal for me when i am nervous i always get places early when i'm nervous and um we went in and there was a specialist uh, senior lecturer who specialised in fetal medicine and that sort of thing and like ultrasounds and sonography and then there was a sort of senior um, sonographer who was learning I think to be more of a specialist in fetal medicine and then two midwives as well as me and Mark and this little baby boy in my tummy um, and I say little baby boy because they did confirm the gender which was nice because I do have a few bits that I've been buying for him tentatively and um, it was it was just nice to get that confirmed and that was still like a happy part of the scan um along with the rest of it obviously and um i had to run through my medical history and fill them in oh, they had my notes anyway but i think they just like to hear it from you and then the scan started within like a minute of being in the room they didn't like waste any time like i was still running through medical history while the little ultrasound was on my tummy and i looked to the right of me because I was looking over at the specialist who was answering asking me a question and then it was time for me to look over I knew my baby was already on the screen but I found it really really hard to look and I remember turning my head and I could see him and I could see his heartbeat right away and I was like okay okay he's fine I know he's fine because I felt him moving today but we've got a heartbeat and you just need to focus on that heartbeat and remember that whatever happens you are going to bring home a baby eventually who is going to be alive and who is going to thrive like you have and ha like his sister has and it's going to be okay just focus on the heartbeat and obviously this was like a specialist scan but at the same time because obviously you don't want to waste the NHS funding and money and resources it was a combined specialist scan along with the normal anatomy scan that you would get at 20 weeks so there was a focus on getting all of his other measurements as well because obviously his like his signs of having stickler syndrome was the priority for us being there at the time but we also needed to make sure that everything else was okay so she the sonographer that was obviously doing the ultrasound um started working through like his heart and the rest of his body and then she got to his skull and she went oh you know do you want to come over to the specialist because i've got a really good view of his face right now and you know what babies are like they can move so shall we check him for signs of stickler syndrome now and the signs were mainly a cleft lip or 
and or palette um neither me or daisy have had a cleft lip but we do both have cleft palettes or we did before our repairs and also pierre raban sequence or prs as it's known which is where baby has a very very small lower jaw so it wouldn't be in line with the rest of the face it would be set back so if i turn my head you see how my jaw is here when i was born my jaw was somewhere back here and as a result you can imagine that that means you've got a much smaller airway because everything's pushed back and as part of that with having a cleft palate as well your tongue is repositioned and it falls over your windpipe in your airway so then there are issues breathing which is why daisy had to come home with a breathing tube and a feeding tube and i had to as well and that is where the complexities lie a first year is tough it's it's just it's hard and i didn't want to do, to do it again and um we we saw them discussing our baby we saw them looking at the face and towards the face looked good but you never want to tr trust your own judgment because you're not an expert you're just hopeful parents wishing for a miracle and they were chatting amongst themselves and they did like 3d so they could see the face properly um and looked at like i think it was like thermal imaging where they could see like where like amniotic fluid was moving through the baby's mouth as well and as far as they could tell um i don't really even know how to say this i feel like i should have like some fireworks or party poppers but as far as they could tell <laughs> he's okay i shouldn't cry but it's just i still can't quite believe it I st i'm still quite tentative i still keep thinking does this mean that maybe i could ask for a home birth does this mean that maybe i might breastfeed or should i you know stay close to hospital and should i buy those specialist bottles just in case and should i should i should i or can i can i can i and i i'm in a daze um obviously strictly speaking they can never guarantee anything i don't think in the medical world you ever can guarantee anything even if you are say in remission from cancer there is no guarantee that that's not going to return one day and there are no guarantees in life so we are taking it as best as we can um i have the uh, notes my notes here and the uh, letter at the front is all about you know why we went and what happened the following when visualized and appear normal so head brain face spine neck and skin chest four chamber view and great vessels abdominal wall gastrointestinal tract kidneys and bladder extremities and skeleton diagnosis no obvious fetal defect normal appearances of face today with no evidence of cleft and no further appointments he said that and i'll never forget these words his his profile and his face is as close to normal as you can get and um i just can't believe this i just can't believe it i just i don't i just <laughs> I'm still in that stage at the moment to be honest because it was only yesterday where I'm like can I trust this can I let go of all of the worry that I've had um, and I know that this is going to sound silly and I, I don't know if it'll make sense but to be honest I feel like this little baby boy has got the potential to sort of set me free a little bit from all the pain that I've had of passing on to Daisy and she's doing really well but I just didn't know how I was going to cope seeing another one of my children suffer because of me so it feels like ever such a great gift I just feel I feel like it's so silly because all of us tend to get pregnant and expect a healthy baby and I, I didn't expect it. I didn't think that I would be allowed to have one again. I know this is so silly, but I'm just so, so overwhelmed and so happy and so full of joy. And I know that sounds corny, but I just can't believe it. And I just wanted to say a big, big thank you to all of you for your messages of support whether it was on here or like instagram you blew me away my phone nearly broke last night like i went to bed early because i was just exhausted um it was a very emotional day because we went there thinking it could either be the best day one of the best days of our lives or one of the worst like moving forward for the rest of the 20 weeks of pregnancy with bad news would have been very very difficult um not to mention the birth and finding the energy to go through all that pain and know that your baby is going to go into NICU and, and things like that it was just 
it was exhausting. I just, I'm really happy. I mean, what else can I say about this week? I'm just, I'm, I'm blessed. I'm blessed in every single sense of the word. Like, every sense of the word. I'm just so, so thankful. I'm so, like, excited to move on and sort of let go. And, you know, if things turn out differently, and the diagnosis is wrong, which it can be. At least I'll have had 20 weeks of feeling blissful about it. Maybe I'll have 20 weeks of just finding some peace and enjoying this pregnancy for what it is, which is my last, and then maybe I can just move on. Um, I don't really know what else to say. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I um, I'm doing really well, like physically. I'm doing fine. I've been getting a little bit more backache, a little bit more discomfort in bed tiredness is a big thing in this past week but i mainly think that was down to stress i have had instances of feeling quite sick um sometimes when i drink certain things coffee is bothering me again as is orange juice fresh orange juice which i love <laughs> so i'm i'm fine though i think it's all of the the struggles this week has been like in here and in here and just the being frightened and being anxious and worried and scared and just hopeful at the same time and not knowing what to think um but I just I can't I can't believe that there is a high high chance now that I'm going to bring home my baby boy and when I give birth to him I won't ever have to let him go I won't ever have to share him with a hospital and I would have to ask for permission to hold him. I would just hold him and I think I'll fight all of my family for cuddles because I'm like, no, no, no. Like, I didn't ever get this with Daisy, so you can't take him just yet. <laughs> I just can't believe it. My mum was here with the kids and uh, she told Bill. And Bill went, yes. And he was like, I knew it, didn't I, Granny? I knew that it was going to go in repeating pattern. It was going to be boy, girl, boy. And I knew that it was going to be healthy baby, poorly baby, healthy baby. And that's in a very basic way in his head. But he was convinced and he's always been convinced. I feel like I should listen to that kid more. And then he turns around and talks to my mum and goes, um, so is he born then? <laughs> and my mum was like, no. He's not going to be born for ages. So 20 more weeks until that G day. And you know what? I'm going to be the most grateful freaking pregnant lady you've ever seen. And I'm still going to tell you about the bad times. And I'm still going to tell you about the horrible symptoms. But my goodness, you better know that I am so, so grateful. And yeah, I'm going to show you my belly quickly before I go. Because this video is going to be ever so long otherwise. So this is my 20 week baby boy belly. With what seems to be a very healthy and happy baby boy in there. I feel like I have grown again this week and I am absolutely loving feeling him move but yes that is that is our baby boy my final final baby I just wanted to say thank you again before I go but you are amazing and if you are pregnancy um and if you are pregnant right now I wish you and your baby like losing health and happiness because like I I would never ever wish the things that I've been through on anybody and I just I really, really wouldn't want that for any of you. So I hope you're all doing really, really well. And I will see you all next week. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. And yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye.